This is not your grandpa's reality survival series. The Discovery Channel is upping the ante, all dressed up in their birthday suits in their quest to survive. Participants on the new show may first need to find some fig leaves. They're complete strangers dropped into one of the most remote regions on Earth, forced to live off the land under often brutal conditions. All I'm trying to do is survive. And if all that weren't bad enough, they're both naked. I don't want to be here anymore. In what just may be the most real reality show yet, the Discovery Channel's newest show, Naked and Afraid, is stripping down the reality genre. Naked in the land of venomous snakes. God, we are so screwed. Each week, a different pair of strangers, one man and one woman, will be left stranded for 21 days with nothing but their determination and survival skills. They must hunt or scavenge for anything they eat, drink, and yes, wear. This would make the third night that it's just poured on us. In the process, Discovery says they'll find themselves in plain view of Mother Nature and each other. I'm going to get little to none sleep so that I can keep the fire going. I need to make my partner feel comfortable because she's overwhelmed. Think Adam and Eve meets Survivor meets Castaway, with maybe even a little Blair Witch Project mixed in. Hungry. <laughs> Cold. It's really hard to stay warm. It is not for the faint-hearted. Chop his head off. Near my dinner. It's pushing the boundaries on the survival genre. This is the most authentic survival show that you're going to see. But while they may be testing the limits, some cut. critics wonder if they're also testing the bounds of good taste. Reality television seemingly is becoming more and more and more outrageous. Oh my goodness. Triumphs. We got fire! And, well, everything else, as these disrobed duos try to survive with little more than their wits. I wish you guys could have.